Hey there, welcome to a collage of our oh so interesting life at McFadder. This entire presentation consists of three parts, student life, the tech programs, and the nature around our campus. All of these make up most of what we see and do here. Hope you enjoy. Socializing is a major part of everyday life around here. You can't go to lunch or break without hearing the masses of prepubescent weeaboo teenagers talk about how much they hate their teacher or what they're gonna do after school this weekend, even though it's Monday. After minutes of talking, all you hear is little footsteps scattering like roaches. Here we captured a moment of the rats scurrying back to their classroom nests. As an amateur photographer, I use a shutter speed of 1 400th of a second and a 5.6 f-stop to capture the wonderful, wonderful lateness that is the students. During your breaks, you can find your local seniors playing cards. If you look at the upper right image, you can see a graduated senior, Ingrid Wu, happily playing with forks, because that's what nerdy McFatter kids do, you know? The students also love to go to the library to do their last minute homework. You know the one they swore they'd do on the bus? And the mall area pictured on your right is a number one location for everyone's favorite leisure activity, skipping class. The mall area is also a frequently used area when it comes to outside classes. Occasionally, the teachers get bored of staring at the dead souls that are their students and decide that a great way to liven things up is to go sit in the numbing heat. A great change of scenery, don't you think? But it's not all boring. On the bottom left, you can see a bench located in our herb garden, where we grow absolutely nothing, but we're also not allowed to sit. If the outside is causing everyone a heat stroke, a better place to have class is the library, where the air conditioning freshens our dead souls. McFadder's technical programs are literally the only reason people come here. There's a ton of them ranging from marine to drafting to culinary and photography. Here we have a shot of glasses from the optometry lab and an apparatus from the drafting program. If anyone asked me what it was, I wouldn't know. Everything that we learn in these classes is vital to working in the field. Although, let's face it, who wants to work as an eye doctor forever? Included in our list of programs is the automotive program. On the left, we can see a teacher teaching a student how to remove the hubcap on a wheel. On the upper right, we have a drafting student creating an engine on some of the most recent software available. And on the lower, we have dye-to-dye -dye samples from the optometry lab. Among the programs available is a multimedia program, where we took all of the photos and audio in this entire video. We're pretty new at it, so it's not that great, but it's something. Here you can see more examples of the equipment and projects being done in the classroom, which include optic devices, a handmade house, and even human beings. In the medical assisting programs, the students learn a variety of cool things, like how to take your blood pressure and how to stab each other appropriately, all by using their fellow peers as guinea pigs. If you ever feel like getting stabbed, head over to medical. They won't even ask why. Nature is practically the best part of McFadder. To the far left is a picture of the school mascot, Carlos the Pigeon, and to the far right is your local lizard. In both images, a quick shutter speed was used as Carlos and the lizard were trying to speed Gonzalez away. In the center, you have a butterfly, which are very, very common around here. The students rarely take notice of the beauty that is the herb garden in the McFadder Mall area. Because we rarely grow herbs or anything worth photographing, here's some flowers pretty in pink. In this area, there's a variety of flowers and trees, and unseen is a teal bench, all which contrast nicely and make for an incredibly aesthetically pleasing area. It's really pretty, and we're not allowed to use it. So there's that. As previously stated, one of the reasons that McFadder is so nice is the outside campus. Consisting of plant life and open area, it looks amazing compared to the prison cells that are everyone's local high school. We have tables, trees, and fountains. Our outside fountain makes for an amazing view during lunch and is one of the top places to admire. We have wildlife galore on our campus, from ducks to lizards and spiders and other kinds of birds like grackles as seen on the upper left. The school is located in Davie, Florida, which, if you're familiar, means that it rains at least every couple of hours. All around the campus are water cisterns, and as a result of the rain, a beautiful micro-ecosystem exists in here. Full of moss, rocks, and life, it's a sign that shows no matter if you grow up in the dumps, literally, you can always grow into something pretty great. To end it all, figuratively of course, I thank you for listening to this all the way through. I can only imagine what kind of suicidal thoughts have passed your mind as you endured the shriek that is my voice. If you liked any of this, you can contact me at my business email located on the screen above. Thanks for tuning in.